Hi, Phillips Creek Creative People. We are going to make this beautiful macrame angel to hang in your house or on your tree. Um, she is a couple different parts and it, there's a lot of knot tying in this um, craft. So it's kind of a macrame project. So just take your time and um, follow along as I make this. So what you're going to do is you're going to um, get all the pieces out of your kit. You have a 20 centimeter measuring stick. You have um, a small piece that says hair on it to measure your hair pieces. And then you've got lots of different sizes of rope. Um, you have a bead for the head. Um, You've got this long rope. This is gonna be your dress. You've got this thicker rope tied in a knot. This is your arms, your legs, and your wings. You've got this small pack of rope tied with a red ribbon. That is going to be your, hmm, where is that gonna be? That's gonna be what you hang your whole angel on and a couple extra pieces to tie things with. And then you've got um, another piece of rope like this. That's kind of a thick rope. I've already cut mine. Um, that is gonna be your hair. Believe it or not, the thickest rope is gonna be your hair. Um, so I'll, I'll put this one in there. Um, there's your hair. Okay, so that's all the pieces. And then you have a little gold circle. If you want to put a halo on your angel, you've got that to put on your angel. I'm going to move it over here. So you have your dress, your hanger, your hair, and your arms, legs, and wings. So those are all the pieces you should have. Um, the ropes are all different sizes. So um, that helps kind of give the angel some definition. The first thing we're gonna start with is the hair. So you're gonna take the thickest rope. I'm gonna get rid of everything else. And you are gonna cut it into pieces. There should be enough for six pieces. And you're gonna just use that piece of cardboard that says hair on it as your measuring piece. So one, Two, and just keep cutting until you get six pieces. Okay, I have my six pieces of hair cut, and now comes the fun part. You're gonna take your um, cord and you're going to untwist it. And you're just gonna keep twisting and twisting until you, for each one of those cords, you get three strands. Now, here's where it gets really fun. After you get those three strands, you're gonna untwist each one of these. So you're gonna take each one of these and figure out which way it twists and go the opposite way and just start untwisting and pulling these apart. And you're just gonna keep pulling them apart until you have a bunch of beautiful wavy angel hair and you're going to do that for all of your all of your strands so you're it's going to take a while you might want to put a movie on or some music and just sit it's it's relaxing but it's it is a little tedious it takes a while you just want to get it all pulled apart because you want her to have pretty wavy kind of fine angel hair so you're going to get that all pulled apart and then it should be looking kind of like this when you get it all pulled apart i'm going to go work on mine and i will come back and show you when i have it all done okay now i have all my hair um, untwisted i have this beautiful thin angel hair um, I've got it all kind of laid out together and I have my bead for my head and I'm going to get this little pack of yarn that's tied with a red ribbon. I'm going to untie it 
and I'm gonna find the longest piece. Let's see. And the longest piece, oh, this is it. The longest piece is gonna be what your angel hangs on. And just like the bead ornaments, we're gonna double this through the beads. So I'm going to take these and pop them through this big, sometimes you have to get some water on there and twist them. I'm gonna pop it through this bead. And again, if you have trouble, grab your trusty little um, toothpick and just poke it with your toothpick. You can also kind of twist it and sometimes that will help it go through. The nice thing about this is we only have to do it one time. There we go. All right, I got it through. Let's see if I can get it all through. There we go. All right, I'm gonna straighten that back out. I got it all through. Um, I'm gonna leave quite a large loop at the top. Um, and what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna thread the hair through this loop. So I'm gonna take my hair and I'm gonna fold it in half around my finger. So I have it, I know where the middle of my hair is. I'm gonna pop it through this loop. Okay. And if I get a stray hair here or there, I can always trim it off because she has a lot of hair. So now I've got this hair going through the loop. I've got it even. You see my loop. I'm gonna pull my loop in just a little. And then I'm gonna tie um, a simple knot around my finger to hold that hair tight, just like you're tying a balloon. Around my finger, through the loop, and then pull it tight. So I just wanna make sure I have enough here to hang her. I've got a knot here. And then I'm gonna push this tight, I'm gonna pull this tight through. And there's her hair. And now I'm gonna put another knot right here at the bottom. I'm gonna go around my finger, push it through, just like I'm tying a balloon, and push it up close to that, push it up close to that uh, bead so that it will hold that hair on. So you can see I have a knot here, my hair, the bead, a knot here and that's my hair. And I'm gonna leave my hair alone for now. Um, I just wanted to tell you one other tip when you're doing the hair. Sometimes it's helpful to use either your toothpick or the end of a paper clip that you've undone and just kind of almost like brush or comb through that hair and you can kind of get, get those strands uh, loosened up and get that hair really pretty. Right now it looks like she needs a little conditioner, but. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is tie, I'm gonna put this to the side and I'm gonna get the little uh, string that's tied together and I'm gonna untie it very carefully because I don't wanna tangle it up. You're gonna have three strands in here. You're gonna have a super long strand. You're gonna have a medium strand and a small strand, okay. First thing I'm gonna do with these is I'm gonna tie a little loop knot in the end of each one of them so they don't unravel. The short strand is your hands. The medium strand is gonna be your legs. And the long strand is gonna be your wings. The long strand, you don't need to tie the knots in. So the first thing you're gonna do, I'm gonna get my wings out of the way. The first thing you're gonna do is take your legs and make a loop at the end like this. And you're gonna put your, here, let's do it this way. You're gonna put your arms here over the loop, bring the bottom of your legs up and stick them through that loop around your arms. This is called a cow hitch. 
and you're gonna tie this cow hitch. It's gonna look like, it's not even tying it, it's just looping it. Let me get these out of the way. So it's gonna look like this. You've just looped that yarn around like this. Okay, now we've gotta get the wings in. We're gonna loop the wings in here. So before we do that, we have to make the wings. So to make the wings, I like to make about three loops on each side of my wings. So there's one, two, three, four, five, Oh, this one isn't quite long enough. Let me get another one. Here we go. So I've looped it around my fingers. I have three loops on this side, one, two, three, and three loops on this side, one, two, three, and then I have two ends here and here. And now I'm gonna take these and push them together in the middle. And I'm gonna take one of my extra pieces of yarn, or if I have some excess from something else, and I'm just going to tie, my friend, the square knot left over right. Pull it together. And I want to get that right in the middle. Boop. And it's not quite in the middle. I'm going to move it over a little. You can always untie and retie if you mess up. And then I'm going to go right over left. Pull that tight. And I'm gonna trim off the tails of my knot. One, two. And I like to trim these off. I don't like to have a straight piece coming out on my wing, but it's up to you. If you don't mind those straight pieces, you certainly can leave them. Okay, so here I have my arms and my legs. Here's my wings. And all I'm gonna do is lift this up and put these right through with my arms and legs and pull this tight. And if, if you're confused about this cow hitch, you can also look up online how to make a cow hitch and that will come up. So now you're gonna have your wings with two arms and your legs okay and then this is ready to put with your hair so i'm going to take my um, head i'm going to lay this down i'm going to actually put the hair up so it's kind of out of the way okay i'm going to sp split these and i'm going to tie I'm going to split my legs, Boop, maybe, and I'm going to tie the wings, the arms, and the legs, again, with a square knot, knot right up next to that bead. So left over right, and I'm going to tie it tight, pull it tight so those wings are right up next to my face. And then right over left. A good thing about a square knot is it will not come undone. And then I have these two tails hanging down. So I have an arm, a wing, and a leg on this side. I have an wings, an arm, and a leg on this side. And I'm gonna trim these up here because I don't want them to show. So now she has legs, arms, and wings, she has hair, she has a head. So now we just have to put her dress on. Okay, to make the dress, you're gonna take um, this long looped uh, material that's tied with green, red, and white ribbon, and you're gonna untie it. Um, now, if you're stayed together really well, you can take it like this and just cut your ends. Um, if it did not stay together well, you're gonna take your 20 centimeter piece of cardboard and you are just going to wrap this you want to go around um, 20 times you want 10 strings for one side of the dress and 10 strings for the other dress so you're going to go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 
and cut and then you're gonna cut it here and cut it here that's one side of your dress okay i'm gonna set that to the side take my string again one two three four five six seven eight nine ten i'm gonna cut it here cut my loops cut my loops and now i have 10 strands for the other side of the dress now just like and then i have all this extra if i want to add two more strands maybe i'll add more strands so i'm going to have 11 strands on both of my dress on both sides of my dress so the more strands it just means your dress is going to be thicker now you should have a little piece left over or you probably have another piece left over from another part of your angel um you know you should have some little strands left over because we're going to have to make a little belt on the dress so just make sure you have a little piece to do that and just like the hair here comes the fun part you are going to unwind these these uh pieces of yarn so you want them to all come out into about i think they come out into three strands one two sorry i'm not on the in the camera right okay so there's my three strands and i'm just gonna want to uh, unwind these and i'll tell you when i made my first angel i was just watching a movie while i was doing this kind of listening to it one i'd already seen be fun to put a holiday movie on and just kind of keep unwrapping until you get these all unwrapped each string will make three strings so you're going to have about 30 to 33 strands for each side of your dress so i'm going to go work on that and i'll come back and show you what to do next all right here are my my um dress sides all unraveled this is probably the hardest part of the angel because you have to, you're going to dress her with this dress and you have to make sure her wing, her arm stay on this side and this wing and arm stay on this side. You're gonna take one of your strands and you're gonna cross these over. So kind of like the hair, you're gonna find the middle and you're gonna put that middle right under her wings and arms and you're gonna we're gonna make an X so there's one side going that way this is a little extra piece that can just go down in there make sure her wing and arm are sticking out over here there's that side the legs aren't gonna matter because they're just gonna be in the middle of the dress now I'm gonna take my other side of my dress same thing I'm going to put it right up next to that head under the wing and arm but this time i'm going to lift the whole thing up because i want this to go behind everything and i'm going to make an x i'm just going to cross that over so you can see let me make sure okay my arms and my wings are out my legs are down here so you can see i made an x right here with my dress okay and I'm just gonna pull that as kind of as tight as I can over those wings because I don't wanna I don't want her to have shoulder pads. Okay, so I've got that X and I've got all those little stray strands kind of pulled tight like that. So I've got that X, and now I'm gonna give her a waist right there on top of that X. So I'm gonna find whatever yarn I have, the longest piece. Now this is a hard, this is probably the hardest knot. Um, this is a macrame knot. You're gonna loop, loop your piece of yarn like this, okay? Um, and you're going to lay it on top of your angel. So put your loop about where your head is and let, you want this tail down here to hang out. So you're gonna loop that like that, okay? And then we're gonna wrap this around and you're gonna wrap it from the bottom to the top. So I'm going to pick her up, 
got my loop and I'm gonna start wrapping this around. Here's my tail. And I'm gonna wrap. If you're trying to do this by yourself, you might want to get a parent to help you. If you get super frustrated and you can't do this knot or this um, tie, this band that I'm making, and you're just gonna keep wrapping around, you can always tie a square knot around. This just makes it a little more of a waistband. You can see I'm wrapping this around. Here's my tail. Here's my loop. And I'm wrapping it. I'm going to wrap it as much as I can. I'm pulling it tight. Pulling it tight. Okay. So now I have it wrapped around three or four times here. I'm going to take this end and I'm going to pop it through this loop and I'm going to actually pop it through twice. One, two. And then I'm going to take my tail and I'm just going to pull. Oh, that's not my tail. Where did my tail go? There's my tail. I'm going to take that tail and I'm just going to pull that through, kind of let that belt go over. I'm just going to pull that into the belt and then I'm done. That's it. There's my, I really didn't have to tie a knot. I just pulled that loop into the belt and I can either unravel this or I can cut it off. Um, I think I'm just going to cut mine off. There we go. And there's her belt. Now her wings are a little wonky, so I'm going to kind of just pull on her and get her how I want her. I feel like my um, uh, arms are a little long, so I'm gonna lay her down and kind of see how she looks. Where's her other leg? I've lost her other leg. Here's her other leg. Um, her legs look short, so I'm actually gonna undo this knot and I'm gonna retie it. And I might trim her dress off a little, and that is a-okay. You can give her a little haircut you can trim her dress. You can do whatever you want. I'll, I won't make y'all torture y'all to do that. Okay, so I'm going to actually cut her arms off and I'm going to retie them so they're shorter. And again, this is just all the fun detail work where you're going to kind of get your angel exactly how you want her. I want her to have a little, I don't want her to have like gorilla arms. So I'm going to tie them a little shorter. Boop. And um, I'll come back. I'm going to untie this knot and get her legs and everything trimmed up. Okay, I got her arms a little bit, I mean her legs a little bit more even. I'm going to actually pull them up. And I'm going to give her dress a little bit of a trim right here. And again, just... Don't drive your mom and dad crazy with all those yarn pieces. And I'm going to just trim that up. It's kind of fun. It's kind of like being a hairstylist. There we go. And there's her legs sticking out. And um, they'll start to fray at the ends, which is kind of fun. So now I've got her whole body done, her dress. And um, now I'm going to work on her hair. So what I want to do with her hair is I want some of it to be up front and I want, um, you can either let it hang like this or what I like to do is tie it in kind of a loose ponytail or you can even um, braid it back here. Again, this is kind of like being a hairstylist. You can kind of braid it real loosely back here and um, take one of your extra pieces that you have and tie a little bow around it or a little knot like this. It's really up to you what you do with your angel's hair. Um, you can comb through it again. Now, if she, if it looks a little messy here, you can always put a little dab of glue on either side and kind of push it down. I like it to be a little messy, kind of a messy braid in the back. Um, or sometimes I let it hang. It's up to you. And then the last step is to take my halo and I'm going to put it through my string. And again, you can take a little dab of glue and dab it 
I would dab it right here um, underneath this knot. Just put a little dab of glue and then you can just attach that halo right there. Just let it sit for a couple minutes. Again, this is super tacky glue. Um, so if you let it sit for a couple minutes, it will adhere. You could also dab it on the back wherever you want that halo to fall. Um, and there she is, my beautiful little macrame angel. So good luck. Don't get frustrated with your knots. Just take your time. If you need to alter any of the ways that I've tied things, go ahead and do it. You can also um, look up cow hitch online if, if you need to see uh, another demonstration about how to do that. Have fun.